Right. Well, I mean, what I want to do is I in July and let it fly, right? I mean, Chinese retail, you know, may come in. Okay. I don't know if Chinese retail can move the market if you have institutional players using crypto as a panic hedging instrument. But Chinese retail just won't buy in June. That will be like an ongoing inflows that what people forget is, you know, retail loves to buy as it goes higher, right? In other words, you know, you really in crypto, you want to buy when it's at its ugliest point, but that's very difficult. So they're going to they're gonna probably buy some crypto in June, but if crypto starts rising in July, right, or even in September, these people coming in and pressing the green button in Bitcoin, you know, will be meaningful and also brings me to a point that we've emphasized on the show. People take the ability to see the red button and the green button and push one of them and get what they want. Okay? That's, okay, if all the elephants, including Chinese retail, I mean, think about it. Chinese retail is buying. Americans have to get their money out of banks and somewhere. They don't want to pay $60 for a U.S. silver coin, right? Chinese retail is FOMOing in, right? I mean, again, we're chasing meme coins, okay? I, I don't want people to not have fun in crypto. But the extent to which all the elephants could get through the door at the same time eventually might mean you could press the green button and not get it. So meme coins could actually be a distraction. It could be good for crypto because people make money, but it could be bad for crypto because, you know, it's a distraction from hitting the green button when you can, while you can. Because if this happens the way we think it's going to happen, where there's going to be like a, you know, July, September, October, December, like, build up for this thing to just go parabolic you know do you do you want to miss that because you were distracted right i would say the answer would be no don't don't get distracted you know the other thing about distractions is you know and i don't know and i don't want this but if this meme coin thing turns out badly you know we got the impacts of a lunar eclipse there's a once every 12 year event in Jupiter. Okay. That's of concern because the last time we had that was 2011. You know, back in that case, you had a debt ceiling problem. You know, you also had Bitcoin go from 30 cents to $32 back to $2 in a matter of months in the same year. So this could be some wild stuff going on, right? You don't want to get shaken out with that kind of stuff happening. And I'm concerned. That if there's kind of a all the way up, all the way down in meme coins, we're going to be hearing from Gensler in June, right? 